It is time to eat, eat, eat. We're on our way out to dinner and heading to a Japanese restaurant here in town called Yasu. Yasu is an omakashi style restaurant and for those of you not familiar with the word omakashi, it translates to the phrase to trust or I'll leave it to you and essentially that's what we're doing. We're leaving it to the chefs to pick our dinner. The chefs at the restaurant will pick from an assortment of 20 sushi dishes which we'll get to enjoy over the course of a two hour seating. Um, reviews for the place are extremely positive and based on the reviews, if you were to splurge your life savings on a sushi restaurant, Yasu would be that place. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a massive sushi fan, love sushi, I could eat sushi for every meal and every day. So really looking forward to what the chefs have in store for us. We're just about to head out and we'll catch up with you at the restaurant. Yasu was opened by Osaka-born chef Yasuhisha Ushi, who in 2014 introduced Toronto to this omakashi-style sushi bar. The restaurant was featured as one of Canada's best new restaurants in 2015 by Enroute, and one of the best restaurants of 2016 by Canada's 100 Best. His style of cooking is known as kimoshi, meaning feeling on its own in Japanese. Cooking with kimoshi means not just preparing food with skill and technique, but with the mental aspect of putting all your love, care and emotion into the food. Part of the experience uh, in, the, in coming to the restaurant is not just the great food, but just watching these skilled chefs at work. Here you see a uh, chef preparing the wasabi. Everything is handcrafted. Must have spent several minutes just uh, grinding wasabi. And if you do come, come to the restaurant, it, it's worth uh, being on time for your seating just so you can see all the preparation that goes into the great food that you're about to eat. first course is uh, getting served here. So the appetizers were oysters and sashimi. The restaurant isn't particularly big, so you can see at the bar, I think the bar seats around 18 people and then there's a few tables uh, surrounding the bar. But if you're going to a restaurant, I would definitely recommend sitting at the bar just so you could um, see firsthand uh, the chefs at work. It really is, a, I think, an important part of the experience. First course was served, which was a lobster uh, sushi roll along with uh, a scallop.
Next was the foie gras of the sea and chemo, a Japanese dish made with monkfish liver. I devoured that. The next dish uh, the chefs were preparing was bowls of rice uh, to prepare the nigatoro and ikura. Um, so basically, um, steamed rice, which is topped with uh, salmon caviar. This is the fluke with seared fluke fin. Um, essentially, I think this is uh, this is actually flounder. Hey. The next dish was the fairy squid from Hyago, Japan. Uh, the chefs were telling us how this actually lights up in water. This is a wild sockeye salmon from BC. R really good. This was the uh, shrimp based sushi. And this is the wild amberjack from Tokyo, Japan. I believe this next sushi was the Benito, so it's basically a smoked fish. It was really good. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. The quality of fish that they use is amazing. This is the live uni from Vancouver. You can see that the, the uh, just the detail, level of detail and, and, and precision um, with just each roll like handcrafted. It's almost like watching art. Art art for the stomach, as I like to call it. Tastes as good as it looks. And here's the macro. It was actually, it was really entertaining just watching these guys working with rice. If everything is handmade, uh, you know, just measured by the eye. The 
The last dish was the tamago, which is a classic Japanese folded omelet. The omelet is sweet and has a light texture and definitely works well after all the sushi dishes. <laughs> Here's Sally enjoying the black sesame seed ice cream that was served for dessert. And then as a surprise, we were celebrating our friend Mimi's birthday, so the chefs brought out uh, this small little dessert. Here at the end, uh, I guess the chefs here were preparing for the next seating, so you, hear, you can see them uh, cutting up this radish. Uh, and really amazing to just see how thin that they could slice this thing, and just, uh, just the level of uh, patience as they worked through it. And then there was two of them uh, chopping up the radish, it was almost like they were having a race.